Here's the man. Let's get a shot without a cigar in my mouth. Man. With the plan. Hi there, welcome to the Beaten Trail. In this episode, we return to West Virginia and Hatfield and McCoy for Buffalo Mountain Trails. Now we had just left Tennessee and filmed there at Royal Blue, and we drove to meet Shane and John and Nicole and Stacy over at Trailblazer Outfitters and Butch's Auto Body. Not a far drive, probably about three hours and change. We were happy to get here because we love the accommodations and there's plenty of places to park and it's only a mile or so from the trails. We need a shopping cart. You want? Yeah, and get kicked out of Walmart. Yeah. Everything later. Why? <laughs> because we got enough food. There's just so much food. We can have shopping cart races. You'd win. I got too much weight in this thing. What's up, my ass? Yeah, that's cool. Nice. That's right. Check it, check it, and you're good. Thank you. The Beaten Trail is sponsored by Ride Royal Blue ATV Resort in Pioneer, Tennessee, where all of your Tennessee adventures begin. Lodging for any budget, bring your RV, or stay in a cabin. Trails are attached to the resort and not a far drive on ATV legal pavement. So stop down at Ride Royal Blue in Tennessee. We're staying here at Butch's Auto Body. Beautiful day out here in Belfry, Kentucky. I think we're all settled to go for some riding. Williamson is right up the road, Williamson, West Virginia. Shane testing out his uh, new ride, and uh, I guess we're getting ready to hit the road. Uh, we did Tennessee, and now we're on our way here to some West Virginia trails, so stay tuned. So we left our location at Trailblazers Outfitters in Belfry, Kentucky, up the road across the border only about a mile, and into Williamson, West Virginia, where we jumped on the Buffalo Trailhead. What's great about this location is plenty of supplies, food, fuel, and anything else you can need between the two locations. We had been to the Buffalo Trail several times with different groups, and this time of year, the vistas are a little more wide open because the leaves are falling and the colors are beautiful and just an awesome time to get out on the trails even though they are dusty but you can prefer a rainy time of the year and you won't have to worry about the dust regardless we love Hatfield and McCoy the trails are always very well labeled and manicured properly you won't have to worry about too many obstacles out on the trail Every once in a while we would find a hill or a blue trail to go up and in this case just had a great time trying to explore a little bit more and try some new trails we hadn't hit in the past. Thank you. 
reminiscent of uh, Royal Blue, the Widowmaker. But it's dry, so it's really not bad. That is the green. Being that the weather was so nice, traffic was a little heavier than normal, but not bad. We did see a lot of ATV side-by-sides and bikes out on the ride enjoying the trails. Big thanks to John and to Shane for extra camera footage. We always appreciate having different views when we're making these videos. We try to track all our rides, either in Ride Command or ONX, and you're able to take a look at it after the fact. And there's always some favorite trails and hills that we have to revisit again and again. Just, we like them so much. Shane found his favorite hill, so we had to make sure that we got him on camera doing a little bit of that, and he had some close-up camera work down the side of his side-by-side -side to show you exactly what he's climbing up. As you can see, most GoPros are pretty durable. There were a few times where we got a little lost and off the trail. So we're on the wrong trail, it's yeah, up there. And of course, we found so ourselves in dead some end, dead ends, so we had to turn around. Always be sure to pack a little something to rinse out your radiator. We have links in our video description. It may still be some blue stuff from your blue stuff. Not only did we see some of our friends out on the trail, Hello again. we also met up with some subscribers, handed out some stickers, and made some new friends. over to Devil Ants and we were going to try to find the goat. Hello, Mr. Goat. How are you? So I guess we get him to do this and he will come. Hello, Mr. Goat. Can I give you one of these? You gotta let me know if you like them. Are they okay? Are they are they acceptable? 
Yeah, a different flavor than you're used to. Is he like petable or just you feed him and that's it? It's a spicy chili we flavor. Have, yeah. more in this, you know. I think he likes the spicy things. Yeah. He's like, oh, you guys come up here and bring me potato chips. I need to have something tasty. Yeah, right? Awesome. Cool. Bulls backbone rock formation. Single-handedly fended off a company of Union soldiers. Interesting. And the goat was probably not there to watch, but his ancestry was. So he's just eating. He's just eating a little bit of chips and stuff. So. For the goat? Yeah. Just the goat. I don't the goat. know if they call, somebody calls it something. Just the goat. After some food, we decided to go take a ride to Death Rock and watch the sunset. Just an amazing time and the views were great and it was great to ride with friends. Big thanks to everybody who helped with the video as well as getting everything set up for lodging. Just an overall great time. Big thanks again to our sponsor, Ride Royal Blue. We appreciate them as well as all of our partners for being along for the ride. Be sure to get over to Lid Industries for the brightest rock lights you can find and check out some of our hats and shirts over at our merchandise page. Thanks again for watching and we hope to see you out there on the trail. Thanks. Gary Busey, but I never heard Bussy. Oh, Bussy. Say, like, damn it, she promised me the hump.
Oh, you wanted the hump. He did get the hump. I was going to be sandwiched. Well, check this out. All right, John. We are sandwiched. Holy jeez. What do we got? An F-15? This is an F-15? <laughs> Oh, you're good. Yeah, take up poop, boy. Hold that door shut.